I'm coming to you today from the Word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm reading from the book of Daniel chapter 10, 1 Chronicles chapter 6, and John chapter 17. Daniel chapter 10. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long. And he understood the thing and had understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. And in the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is Hittichel, then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. Behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. His body was also like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision. And there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet heard I the voice of his words. When I heard the voice of his words, then was I in deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee am I now sent. When he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remain there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. For yet the vision is for many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. And behold, one, like the similitude of the sons of men, touched my lips. And I opened my mouth, and spake, and said unto him that stood before me, O my Lord, by the vision my sorrows are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. For how can the servant of this my Lord talk with this my Lord? For as for me, straightway there remain no strength in me, neither is there breath left in me. Then there came again and touched me one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me, and said, O man greatly beloved, fear not, peace be unto thee, be strong, yea, be strong. When he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened, and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. When I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grecia will come. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. And there is none that holdeth with me in these things, but Michael your prince. First Chronicles chapter 6 The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the children of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam, the sons also of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar beget Phinehas, Phinehas beget Abishua, Abishua beget Bukai, and Bukai beget Uzai, and Uzai beget Zerahiah, and Zerahiah beget Merioth. 
Marioth begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitu. And Ahitu begat Sadoc, and Sadoc begat Ahimeaz. And Ahimeaz begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Johanan. And Johanan begat Azariah, he it is, that executed the priest's office in the temple that Solomon built in Jerusalem. And Azariah begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitu. And Ahitu begat Sadoc, and Sadoc begat Shalom. And Shalom begat Hilkiah, and Hilkiah begat Azariah. And Azariah begat Sariah, and Sariah begat Jehozadak. And Jehozadak went into captivity when the Lord carried away Judah and Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari, these be the names of the sons of Gershom, Libni, and Shimei. And the sons of Kohath were Amram, and Izhar, and Hebron, and Uziel. And the sons of Merari, Malai, and Mushai. And these are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Of Gershom, Libni his son, Jahath his son, Zima his son, Joah his son, Ido his son, Zerah his son, Zeatari his son, and the sons of Kohath, Amenadab his son, Korah his son, Aser his son, Elkanah his son, and Abiasaph his son, and Aser his son, Tehath his son, Uriel his son, Uzziah his son, and Shaul his son, and the sons of Elkanah, Amasai and Ahimoth, as for Elkanah, the sons of Elkanah, Zophai his son, and Nahath his son, Eliab his son, Jeraham his son, Elkanah his son, and the sons of Samuel, the firstborn of Ashnai and Abiah, the sons of Merari, Malai, Libni his son, Shimei his son, Uzzah his son, Shimei his son, Hegiah his son, Isaiah his son. And these are they whom David set over the service of song in the house of the Lord, after that the ark had rest. And they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation with singing, until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. And then they waited on their office according to their order. And these are they that waited with their children, the sons of the Kohathites, Heman a singer, the son of Joel, the son of Shemuel, the son of Elkanah, the son of Jeroam, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zeph, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahab, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahath, the son of Aser, the son of Ebiasaph, the son of Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and his brother Asaph, who stood on his right hand, even Asaph, the son of Berechiah, the son of Shimeah, the son of Michael, the son of Basiah, the son of Malchiah, the son of Ethni, the son of Zerah, the son of Adiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zema, the son of Shimei, the son of Jahab, the son of Gershom, the son of Levi. And their brethren, the sons of Merari, stood on the left hand, Ethan, the son of Kishai, the son of Abdi, the son of Malak, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Amaziah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amzai, the son of Bani, the son of Shamer, the son of Malai, the son of Mushai, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. Their brethren also of the Levites were appointed unto all manner of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. But Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of the burnt offering and on the altar of incense and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy and to make an atonement for Israel according to all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. And these are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Bukai his son, Uzai his son, Zerahiah his son, Arioth his son, Amariah his son, Ahitub 
his son, Zadok his son, Ahimeaz his son. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their castles and their coasts of the sons of Aaron, of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the lot. And they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah and the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof they gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh. And to the sons of Aaron they gave the cities of Judah, namely Hebron the city of refuge, and Libna with her suburbs, and Jeter, and Eshtimoah with their suburbs, and Hillen with her suburbs, Deber with her suburbs, and Ashan with her suburbs, and Beshemesh with her suburbs. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with her suburbs, Alameth with her suburbs, and Anathoth with her suburbs. All their cities throughout their families were 13 cities. And unto the sons of Kohath, which were left of the family of that tribe, were cities given out of the half-tribe, namely out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, by law ten cities. And the sons of Gershom throughout their families, out of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. Unto the sons of Morari were given by lot throughout their families, out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave to the Levites these cities with their suburbs. And they gave by lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, and out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, these cities which are called by their names. And the residue of the families of the sons of Kohath had cities of their coast out of the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave unto them of the cities of refuge, Shechem and Mount Ephraim with her suburbs. They gave also Gezer with her suburbs, and Jokmiam with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburbs, and Agilon with her suburbs, and Gathramon with her suburbs. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Aner with her suburbs, and Biliam with her suburbs, for the family of the remnant of the sons of Kohath. Until the sons of Gershom were given out of the family of the half tribe of Manasseh, Golan and Bashan with her suburbs, and Ashtaroth with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kedesh with her suburbs, Dabarath with her suburbs, and Ramoth with her suburbs, and Anam with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Asher, Meshal with her suburbs, and Abdon with her suburbs, and Hukok with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh and Galilee with her suburbs, and Hammon with her suburbs, and Kerjathiam with her suburbs. And to the rest of the children of Merari were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Rimmon with her suburbs, Tabor with her suburbs. And on the other side Jordan by Jericho, on the east side of Jordan, were given them out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with her suburbs, and Jaza with her suburbs, Kenemoth also with her suburbs, and Mephbaath with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with her suburbs, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, and Heshbon with her suburbs, and Jazer with her suburbs. John chapter 17. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify the Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, 
but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one even as we are one. I in them and thou in me, that they may be perfect in me, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in 